Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. I'm ready when you come with me, Boone. We have a monorail to save. Monorail, monorail, monorail. Um, I put a spell on you. Thankfully, I I didn't perform this quest in such a way that it causes immediate cognitive dissonance. Um. Yeah, it'll make sense. I'll explain it later. Also, I found that damn gun. It was just hiding in one of the boxes. I'm not sure which one. Oh, God, let's see if we start falling through the floor again. Oh, my. Yeehaw. Apparently, the 12.7 millimeter uh, pistol does more damage than the uh, the reservist's rifle, um, which I'm okay with. Um, oh crap! I don't remember his name. The father in the caves. Sad. Anyway, um, his rifle is not a, a better pistol, a better weapon than the 12.7 millimeter pistol, uh, but it has more shots in the magazine, which makes it overall more useful than your average pistol. Oh, I'm getting some herky jerkness. Is that is that for me falling through the fucking ground? I don't know. We'll never know. Fun fact, Boone has a high sneak rating. That should be unsurprising, but it's a fact. It's important, especially relevant for this quest. You'll find out why. You'll know it when it happens. Curtis. Nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. Colonel Shu wanted me to help you look into the recent intelligence leak. Smart man. I could use somebody who can operate under the radar around here. Whoever our mole is, he's been slippery. Whenever one of the MPs gets too close, he changes his habits. Our last leak went cold weeks ago. All right, where should I start? You want my advice? Start by talking to people with a lot of eyes in the field. People like Lieutenant Boyd or Sergeant Contreras, maybe. Careful with Contreras, though. He's not above suspicion himself. Keep me apprised of any leads you get. This guy's gotten a lot of my men killed. I'm just itching to return the favor. Understood. Um, later, man. Boyd's a good man. But let's see. Oh, wait. No, Boyd's a woman. <laughs> Inaccessible. Hello? Boyd, are you in here? No. Where the hell? Where are these people? Hornsby. Where the hell am I going? Normally I start this quest earlier and it makes much more sense then. Okay, it appears that one of them is just down there. Maybe that's where Boyd went off to? Woo, didn't break my legs. Nice. Always worth it to not break my legs. All right, they appear to be above me. Calm down, Boone. I didn't go that far. Here we go. Boyd. You're back. That's right. Notice anything suspicious lately? Now, what kind of MP would I be if I didn't notice anything suspicious? <laughs> I've had soldiers go AWOL, break-ins, thefts, you name it. Uh, who's missing? Well, there's Anders. He's a ranger. That one's not suspicious so much as worrisome. He left on a dangerous assignment. Colonel Shu sent him out. Now I think he feels guilty not having any way to check up on him. What else can you tell me about him? I don't know him very well myself. I seem to remember that he was the man to call on if you needed someone to get in and get out quietly. Mm -hmm. Colonel Shu would really be the person to talk to. Tell me about the break-ins. Maybe break-in isn't the right word. We didn't find signs of forced entry, but I've had reports of someone sneaking into the control tower at night. It's probably just a meeting spot for a steamy military base love affair. <sighs> Kids today. But it bothers me that they didn't break in. It means they have an access code. Most soldiers around the base don't have that. Huh. Would you be willing to give me the control tower access key so I could check it out? Sure, if you want to investigate. It's not like there's anything to steal up there. Just a bunch of old communications equipment. If you can find out it, Got There's it. something about this I really don't like. And if I weren't tied up here, I'd be staking it out personally. 
Right on, right on, right on. What'd you say about thefts? Not the kind of things you like to see go missing. No witnesses yet. I've got my money on Sergeant Contreras, who's supposed to be in charge of distribution, the little weasel. But he's too slick to let anyone catch him doing it. We've searched his possessions a dozen times. Nothing. Ah, I'll keep an eye out for your missing supplies. Good. The more guns you can recover, the more I'll be able to use to shoot Contreras for being inept. Um, if you go investigate Contreras, uh, he is doing a fine job at war profiteering. You'd be surprised how much shit falls off a truck into his lap. And he is not afraid to sell those goods to you at low, low prices. You know the price is good because he has to buy your silence. Anyway, um, I like buying his guns, so I'm not going to turn him in. Does that make me a dirtbag? Yes. Do I care? No. All right, let's check this thing out. Very easy lock. False. Flesh. Cause. Nice. I'll take S words for a hundred, Alex. That says swords, Mr. Connery. Shiba. Alright, access log. Uh, soldier on duty, uh, morning shift, 6.30, uh, ending shift, 12.30. Evening shift starts at 12.30, uh, end of shift is 1,800 hours at 6.00. So 620, enter, 625, enter. Oh, that guy, that Barker likes to get in there early. Not that I blame him. Um, then Reynolds comes in a little bit early. Uh, then Barker leaves. Just enough time to shoot the shit. Um, someone else comes in? Eh, whatever. Um, Tuesday, 1 a.m.? No one's scheduled to be here at 1 a.m. 1 a.m. again. Let's wait around for 1 a.m., shall we? Just, uh... Just gonna chill under this airplane. Just, just space out for a little bit. You don't want to get caught. This guy is looking for us. And if he sees you, well, he'll bug out. Huh. Eddie, keep your sensors on full alert. It is a long walk for him to get to that tower, I assure you. <laughs> but you can't afford to be seen. If you don't have enough speech, you really can't afford to be seen. If he catches you doing this, uh, he'll figure out that you're onto him. But if you have a high enough speech, you can convince him. No, 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 what are you talking about? I don't, I'm not, I don't do, do I don't do, do nothing. Oh shit, he's going this way around the plane. If you don't have that much speech, he will just fucking pull out his gun and open fire, and you'll never know the truth. And then, it'll be too late. As I was saying, Boone has a high sneak score, which means that you can use that to your advantage. Not only do you gain his loyalty for performing this quest, he's... You're my best friend forever. Not a bad companion to have. I am assuming that I that voice isn't out loud so that everyone can hear it. Otherwise, that would be the worst stealth suit ever. Occasionally causes its owner to sneeze violently. Yeah, great thing you want a stealth suit. I'm gonna assume that. Yep. Is he coming? Is he coming near me? Did I screw this up? Did Eddie screw this up? <sighs> Shit. Hey there. What are you doing out here at this hour? Hey Curtis. I couldn't sleep. I just decided to take a walk. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
I get insomnia pretty bad myself out here. I think it's the heat. Weird how sometimes it's cooler out here than it is inside. Well, I hope you met. Right? Wild. Eddie, you get the fuck out of here. You are ruining this for me. Don't you give me that noise. See you back at the Lucky 38. All right. Oop. You know what this means. We gotta try again. Because there is no God. God is dead. And we have killed him. But yeah, if you don't give him the answer he wants to hear there, he'll be like, Oh God, he's on to me! And start blat blatting his gat all over your face. And then, and then mission failure. Fission mailed. Who else is going to mail that fucking fission? You think I'm going to do it? Fuck no. Oh shit. I believe we're too late. We missed the mark. Unfortunately. Maybe not. Maybe we caught him just in time. Come on, Boone. We gotta go. We, we gotta go in there. Totally missed it. Shit. Fuck, we are... Oh, shit, there he is. I was about to say, we are so bad at this. Nah, man. Nah, man, we're so good at this. That's that's why we're doing this, because we're too good. You thought I was bad at stealth before. You haven't even begun to see me bad at stealth. Christ. Man... I'm going to do another playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. So I'm going to do it as a Melkavian, and it's going to be so much fucking easier. I mean, in a manner of speaking. Having played the game before, I'll understand what's going on without having to understand what's going on. And more importantly, I'll be able to have the obfuscate ability, which will cover, cover up for my only weakness. Like, total stealth failure, so, you know, that's cool. But yeah, that was Curtis. The guy who gave us this quest. The good old, the quest giver is actually the quest objective trick. Eh, it's always a good one. I see you, Curtis. Oh shit, that's a deep cut. That's a deep cut. Yeah, don't I look like just a fucking epitome of stealth? Fucking no one. No one suspects the bright white stripes on the black stealth suit. Or the fucking magnetronic halo around my goddamn head. Alright. Let's do it to it. We caught him in the tower. We caught him in the act. You know what? Maybe that's just his favorite masturbating spot. We don't know! We don't know what's going on in there. It could be anything. No reason to jump to conclusions. Not yet. Lupa, this is Frumentarius Picus. Over. Oh, shit. Afternoon patrol enters fiend territory at 1300. Have them mind that stretch. 10 4, Pikus. Fiends will be alerted. Roger, Lupa. What's the status of your primary mission, Pikus? Charges are set. Detonation will occur as the train leaves the station. Over. How long? Couple of minutes. Over. Oh, fuck. 10 4. You're under arrest, you motherfucker. You don't have clearance. I got clearance for catching spies. I don't know what you mean. Time to fight. Oh, I think you know exactly what I mean. Oh, you have a little 9mm pistol! Oh, holy shit, you think you're fucking real, real motherfucker. Activation code. That sounds useful. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> the, the fucking monorail's gonna explode, dude. We gotta disarm the bomb. Ah, Boone! Oh, oh, red wire, green wire! I'm a sniper. I'm not a. I'm not a, an explosive expert. Then what good is your class? Oh God, that just reminds me of a funny D and D story. Or that line is inspired from a funny D and D story I've heard of. Uh, basically, um, a player is playing a dwarf, and somebody asks them, "Dwarf, use your keen sense of smell to help us with this problem." And the dwarf is just like, "I don't have a keen sense of smell." And the player just responds, "Then what good is your race?" <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful. If you fuck this up, like, you can put yourself in an infinite death state. It's awful. 
don't don't let that happen. Don't don't let that happen, you kids. Because if you can't figure out where the bomb is in here quick enough, it explodes. But it's right here. You know, in case you couldn't fucking tell, like the obvious blinking thing behind the thingy. Uh, diffuse the charge. Nice. Um, if you let this train explode, okay, number one, if you get a high enough NCR reputation, you can use this train to get into New Vegas. Uh, if you don't have the caps to go in through the front door. Uh, but if this explodes, you're fucked. Can't do that anymore, idiot. Way to go, moron. Also, it will make the news, obviously. They'll start talking about how the trains blowed up and now things suck. And, you know, I don't want to let that happen. I want the NCR to be happy. To keep spending their money. Yo, shoo. We're all impressed with the work you've done for us. I thought you might be able to make use of this. It's a key to a little hideaway south of here. We've used it as a place for rangers to rest and resupply. I thought you might get good use out of it. Thanks. You won't be having problems with those intelligent leaks anymore. No. What happened? Curtis was a legion spry. Curtis? He's been in the NCR long before our conflict with the legion. There's just no way. I hope you're mistaken, but somehow I don't think so. It explained a lot. This is much worse than anyone expected. There could be others, too. You've done everything that was asked of you. You have my personal thanks for this. And I'll make sure you receive the credit you deserve. Thanks, buddy. Um... Uh... Huh. There's another quest. Oh, well. How are things going for the NCR around here? Could be better. I'll say that much. We set up here with our sights set on annexing New Vegas. It's a lot of resources that could do a lot of good for us. But that hasn't happened. If anything, they annexed us. They rake in the profits from our soldiers, and we're stuck protecting them from the Legion. Not exactly the plan. The house always wins, Shu. Now we're trying to secure the strip and the dam at the same time, and it's costing us. And in the meantime, General Oliver won't approve any offensive maneuvers because he doesn't want to risk losing our positions. So we're in a holding pattern here. And Caesar's on the other side of the river, planning. If you don't make an offensive maneuver, they will. All right, later, man. Boone! What is it? Tell me you love me. If you want. God damn it. Fuck. That did not work. Do you love me now, Boone? How about now? Do you love me now? Fuck. Alright. Maybe we can get Boone to love me later. Maybe. That'll do for this episode of Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. If you liked what you saw, hit like. If you want to continue the adventure, please hit subscribe. But if you think that what I do is really keen, you can send me a couple bucks monthly on Patreon. And I can use that money to do fantastic, amazing things. Like make more videos, start streaming, hire an artist to make cool shit, do the coolest thing I can think of. Get Boone alive!